I'm Commander Dan Valake. I'm one of the total joint replacement surgeons here at the National Naval Medical Center, Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, total joint replacement has proved itself to be a very durable and successful operation over the years. Most patients report good and excellent results up to 10 years after the operation or more. Uh, there are some risks, however, to total joint replacement surgery, and I'd like to talk about those today with you. Infection is a known complication after total joint replacement surgery. In some ways, it's gotten more difficult to treat uh, due to the emergence of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Uh, however, should an infection develop, our procedure would be to uh, essentially have two surgeries after that, one to remove all of the components from the hip or knee, uh, and then a second, usually six or eight weeks later, to replace those components. In the meantime, you'd be treated with six weeks of IV antibiotics. There are two types of blood clots after this surgery. One is known as a deep venous thrombosis, or a DVT. That's where a clot forms in the leg. It causes swelling and pain in the leg. Uh, the second type is known as a pulmonary embolism, or a PE, where that blood clot can break off and travel to the lungs. Each of these can be treated and is treated with a blood thinning medication. Fracture is a possibility in both total hip and total knee replacement. Uh, in each surgery, we are actually cutting and machining the bone, so fracture is a possibility. Uh, should that occur, we'll deal with that at the time of surgery, usually with some form of additional fixation. Thankfully, this is a very rare uh, complication, but one that can occur. Should it occur, uh, it is a serious complication because one can lose loss of sensation or even motor control in a leg or it could require further surgery by a vascular or a nerve type surgeon. Both operations do involve blood loss. They are considered major operations. Um, should you require a transfusion, it would come from the uh, blood bank here at the hospital. Uh, that blood is screened for infectious diseases, but there's no way to completely eliminate the chance of an infection occurring. Uh, the other risk to be aware of in a blood transfusion is an anaphylactic reaction to the blood. Again, a rare uh, complication, but one to be aware of. Uh, so should you donate blood, I think it's a decision that, that you should make. Um, by donating your own blood, you greatly reduce the chance of getting donated blood, but you still don't eliminate it. There are a number of other risks to the surgery, and I think most of them have to do with a person's medical problems beforehand. Uh, this surgery is a stressor on the body as a whole, so if a person has a heart condition or a lung problem, all of those will be uh, challenged a bit by the surgery. Uh, so the possibility of heart attack, stroke, pneumonia, other infections around the time of surgery are all possibilities, uh, ones that we're aware of and, and try to prevent, um, and that we try and do a good job beforehand of screening. There are two additional risks to be aware of. One is the risk of dislocation, and the second is the risk of a leg length discrepancy, and the two go hand in hand. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give you a hip that's stable. A dislocation, should it occur, would require you to be, come back in the hospital, be sedated, and have us relocate the hip, or in the worst circumstance, may require an additional surgery. So every effort's made in surgery to adjust your legs to keep a dislocation from happening. To that end, at times, leg length is not perfect. Uh, in the worst case, you may need a shoe lift on the other side to sort of even your, your uh, leg lengths. Um, but every effort's made to make leg lengths equal with the sort of overarching goal is to give you a stable hip. We want you to be a very informed patient going into this surgery. We want you to ask as many questions as you need to beforehand so that you can go into the surgery very confidently. If there's one thing to remember, it's that this is a very successful operation with great outcomes in the majority of patients.